Hi friends. So I am so glad you took some time to watch this webinar about handling your stress and anxiety naturally. And I actually should say managing because obviously we're not um, telling you you will never struggle with this ever again because you are human and we're all going to struggle with it to a, a certain extent. But learning how to manage it is so important. So uh, I'm going to share my screen with you and share some slides here so I can tell you more from our webinar that we just hosted last night um, about this awesome topic and uh, just some really simple things that you can do to manage your stress and anxiety naturally. Uh, but if you know me, or in case you don't, I should mention to you that I'm a regular person. <laughs> I'm not a doctor or a nutritionist, uh, but I am a regular person who loves to learn. And so everything I've shared, I'm sharing with you is something that I have learned through webinars or documentaries or reading books and something you could do as well. But if you haven't taken time to do it, then I'll just tell you what I've learned and you can decide if that's true for you or not. Um, but I have uh, been very convinced of this information over the last nine years. Um, and so I should say that uh, I have a business with Shackley and I have um, learned more about health and wellness over the past nine years of growing my business and growing myself personally and all the things I've gotten to learn along the way. And it pays me like a full-time income now. Um, and I'm very grateful for that opportunity because it means that I get to help other people as a job, uh, help people learn more about health and simple things they can do as well as help people start businesses and have a side income or a full-time income um, while they help other people. And that's really what makes me excited and passionate. So, um, but I'll tell you, it's funny because I never really um, was one of those crunchy people, as they might say. In fact, I kind of made fun of my friends that did, like true stories, right? Um, but I think I just always felt like, well, you know, a medication is the best way to go or Mr. Clean is the best way to go. I'm not going to use vinegar, all that natural stuff. And um, what really changed things for me or really just started my wheels turning about the value of natural things, because there still is value in the medications and things like that. Um, but what changed my perspective was not long after I became a mom for the first time, I got mastitis. And if you've ever had mastitis, it is awful. Like I was in bed, felt like I was going to die. And we called the doctor and told him all the, all the symptoms. And they were like, yep, you've got mastitis. We're just going to call you in a prescription. And I'll tell you that prescription, I felt amazing. And I was able to get out of bed. I was able to nurse my baby and take care of him. And that was so important. Um, but here's what happened. As soon as that antibiotic ran, ran out, all of my symptoms started coming back. And I was feeling so frustrated and I was thinking, maybe I should just stop nursing my baby. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And then that very day, the lactation consultant just happened to call me, which I really feel was a divine divine thing. She called me and she asked how I was doing. And I, I told her, I said, I had mastitis and I think it's coming back and I'm feeling awful. And so she told me about a nursing position I could use that would help um, take that would help take care of me and also take care of my baby. And, uh, and what, what she said that really stuck with me was, you know what, um, that medication was great, but it was really just covering up the symptoms that were all still there. But if you use this nursing technique, it's going to take care of the problem at its core. That's what really stuck with me. And so the thing about medication is medication is awesome. And sometimes it, it, it is a Band-Aid, but we need Band-Aids. We need Band-Aids to stop the bleeding. And so using medication is a good thing. But if you could get to the source of the problem and treat it at the source, and then maybe not even have to use the Band-Aid or have to use as much of the Band-Aid, um, wouldn't you rather do that? And so that's really what I want to share with you today is things that you can do that can get to the source um, of natural ways to manage stress and anxiety in your life. And so... Um, if you're watching the recording, uh, I, I'm t sharing with you because we are like still in pandemic season over here and stress and anxiety is high for everybody. So I just want to take a moment to talk about like the present situation that we're all going through um, with this pandemic and um, safer at home and all this stuff, right? I just want you to, to, to say that this is something that everybody is going through. We're all experiencing it in different ways and definitely some people are being impacted in way bigger ways than I am. But even with the small ways that I'm being impacted by it, 
it has impacted my stress. And so it has probably impacting your stress as well. And in my research, I've learned just about how um, stress impacts our whole body. It is a whole body experience and we may not even be aware of it. Most of the time it is unconscious how it impacts our body. So if over the past, uh, if you've been going through a stressful time, and you've also been like really snippy and grumpy with your kids. You may have binge eaten a whole bag of Doritos or you've uh, binge watched a whole season on Netflix. <laughs> um, give yourself grace. It's okay. This is your first pandemic <laughs> or whatever stressful thing you're going through. Um, give yourself grace. Nobody's perfect. And I really want to compliment you for taking time to listen to this webinar because it will help you. And you just, there's so much power in taking time to understand our bodies. So pat yourself on the back for taking time to, to listen to this. And I hope it, this information will be helpful for you. So first I want to tell you a little bit about what I've learned about how stress works in our body, especially in the unconscious ways. So um, stress is your brain's way to protect you. And if you think back to even 2000 years ago, um, when life was very different and we were just trying to survive, uh, if you were living back then and you were out in the woods and you came across a bear standing on its hind legs, you would be very afraid that that bear would attack you, right? And so God has made stress in our brains as a way to protect us and a way for us to survive. And so you may have heard of this called the fight or flight response. Um, that, is, that is very much what stress is. And so if, if you were in a situation like this, it means that there are all these things that will happen in your body uh, unconsciously in order to help you outrun that bear and survive. And it's so cool. And so if you look at this picture, you can see some of the things that happen in your body unconsciously. And what's really interesting is the part of your brain that is doing this is the same part of your brain that is doing all kinds of other unconscious things all the time, like breathing, uh, digestion, your muscles, uh, your immune system working, all of these things are things that your brain is controlling. It's all in the same part that stress happens and that fight or flight happens, which I found really, really interesting. So in a lot of ways, stress is an unconscious thing and it's your body's way to protect you but you might not even be realizing that that's what happen what's happening. So if, if you, let's say you were in this bear situation, there are some really cool things that happen in your body, but there's also certain systems in your body that literally shut down because of that stress response. And so, you know, you've probably felt this in moments of, um, of adrenaline. You felt like your heart start to pound a little harder and your um, palms are sweating and uh, your, your muscles are tensing up. Uh, so that it's getting you ready to run, right? But what's interesting is a couple systems actually shut down at that time. And that is your immune system shuts down in a time like that because uh, fighting that germ is not nearly as important as outrunning that bear. <laughs> and so your body is conserving its efforts and like turning up the spidey sense on some of the other efforts, right? Um, another system that shuts down is, um, I said your immune system, I think, uh, also your digestion system shuts down at that time because digesting lunch is not nearly as important as outrunning that bear. So it's really interesting because um, that means that when we are going through stress, these systems are being impacted in ways that we don't really realize. But we also should mention that stress now in our modern world is, is not like outrunning a bear. It's very different and it's, it's a little bit more complicated. So um, because stress is a full body experience, and, and now that you know that, Let's talk about what modern life stresses are like because modern life stresses are much more invisible. It's a lot of worry and worry often registers in our body the same way as stress does. So it has a lot of the same effects as what you would experience in the outrunning a bear syndrome, which is crazy. Um, and uh, it also does not start and end as clearly as an opportunity to run out, outrun a bear, right? Like if you've ever had these moments where you'd really just acted on adrenaline, it's really nice when it's done and you can kind of go, oh, right. Um, but with the, the stresses that we're feeling, especially in, in our certain situation right now, um, you know, we're homeschooling kids and we're worried about our kids. We're worried about finances, worried about jobs, worried about loved ones. Um, all of those things are ongoing. They don't have a quick start or quick end, or they might be unexpected. It might be because things have changed and you're processing how it changed and you don't realize all the extra stresses that it's adding. So um, I really had this affect me over this time when I went grocery shopping. 
And I didn't even realize how much stress was affecting my body um, until I took some time to talk about it. So I want to share with you, um, like, so for grocery shopping for me, I've always actually kind of enjoyed it because I have four boys at home and it's sometimes nice to go grocery shopping with even just one and have some one-on-one -on -one time with him or even just go by myself. It's like a mini vacation. So I, I like grocery shopping. Um, but obviously because of coronavirus, you know, we're, we're wearing masks and you know, there's signs everywhere and everybody's sanitizing and everybody looks scared. And so the first time I went grocery shopping, I came home and I literally felt exhausted. I felt like I needed to take a nap. And I thought, did I get up too early? You know, am I getting sick? Like what's wrong with me? I couldn't figure it out. And it really wasn't until I actually posted on social media about um, how I was feeling about going grocery shopping once I, I went a couple more times that I realized that these were all the effects of stress that were really getting to me. And actually once I identified that it was stress, it actually has made the grocery shopping experience so much better because I was able to identify a problem. And so I wanna share with you some of the tactics that I've used in just something so simple as that, um, so that you can use it for whatever it is that you're going through. And I sure hope that grocery shopping is the most stressful thing you're going through right now, but, but there's gonna be more stressful situations in our lives, or if you're going through a really stressful situation of the loss of a loved one or loss of a job, um, you know, that, that is real and stress affects our whole bodies. But there are things that we can do to help both um, our whole body through what we do mentally as well as what we do physically. So I'm gonna share with you the tactics I've used both mentally and physically for managing my stress. Um, so first, for uh, like some of the mental strategies I've used, just for grocery shopping, for instance, you know, is just my self-talk. Like I've started to say to myself, you know what, I am so grateful that I can go grocery shopping. Obviously, because there's so many people in the world that don't have money to do that or uh, don't even have groceries available to them because of shortages where they live. I mean, I have so much to be grateful for. Taking time to be grateful has been really helpful for me. Um, and then even just saying, you know what? God's in control. These kind of self-talk strategies have really helped me get through hard times. But also taking time to plan. When I go grocery shopping, I've got to plan. That really helps me. And anytime you're going through something stressful in your life, if you can take some time to plan, it helps you feel a little bit of a sense of control, but also know your plan's got to be flexible, right? Um, and then taking time for journal, prayer, meditation, talking to people. That's how even just posting on social was really helpful for me and thinking about it helped, helped me identify what was going on and that it was stress. Um, but even music, music can really change your mentality. So what is music that puts you in a good mood? Can you play that at a time that uh, you're feeling stressed or feeling sad or feeling worried? Um, or even just taking time to go for a walk or reading. These are obviously things that are, are literally physical, but they're also mental. They engage our mind in different ways. Um, and, and of course, taking a nap it's okay to take a nap sometimes. Uh, and so some of these strategies might be easier to use at certain times than others, uh, but and maybe you've got a list of things that work for you, but know your body and know what you need and, and see if some of these strategies can help you in when you're feeling um, some of these things. But I also wanna talk about the physical side of things, which is really what I specialize in. Um, that is the, the physical things we can do for our body. So um, your body uh, is like a plant, right? Like we all know about taking good care of plants. Um, plants need water and food and you know what? Our bodies need those things too, okay? We also need a good amount of sleep and we need the right food um, because if you feed your body what it needs, it'll do what it's supposed to do. And so those are things I'm very passionate about. And unfortunately, all that mental stuff I just told you about is not nearly as effective. If these physical needs of sleep, hydration, exercise, nutrition, if those things aren't met, the mental strategies really aren't gonna matter nearly as much. So make sure that you are doing what you can to manage the physical side of things um, in just small ways. And so I know that taking time to manage those things could be me adding more stress to you right now. And I absolutely don't wanna do that. Um, because we all know that eating healthy is not always easy and that could add more stress. And so if you've had times over this pandemic that you've been having cookies for dinner, there's no judgment for me. There's a time for that. And even at, at home, if you're just trying to figure out what to make and it, it's another night of mac and cheese, people are being fed and that is a great thing. Um, but there's always small things that we can do, trying new things. Even for me, I just tried cauliflower rice this week. I've been kind of scared of it. I tried, I tried it and actually it was surprisingly good. Um, and it was just one small thing I could do to try something new, try a new vegetable. And, and that's the best way as far as eating healthy is try new things little by little. Every week, see if you can try something new or once a month, try something new, try a new veggie, see what you can do. Uh, but truly like 
that does often, healthy eating and these things often add more stress to you. And this is a guilt-free zone, so I want you to know that. Um, and so because making healthy choices uh, food-wise is not easy every single day, this is where I wanna add a little less stress to your life um, because sometimes it's, it's easier to add in something healthy rather than to take out all the not so healthy stuff. And so uh, for me and what I recommend to people and what I've really seen work for people is the Prove It Challenge. And so you've probably heard me talk about this a lot. This is um, Shackley's foundational products. In fact, they tested people who had been using Shackley products for 20 years or more, and they tested them next to people using different multivitamins and then also people using nothing at all. And they found that the Shackley people had overall better health in so many categories, including heart health and metabolism. And even just that they felt better was huge. Feeling better is everything. And so after that, that study, they put together this package of, the, of, they looked at what all those people were taking and they put it in this simple package that we sometimes call the strip and shake, <laughs> uh, which often causes people to wonder. But the strip, it's this cute little vitamin strip that you'll see on the picture here. Um, and I love that it's easy, it's on the go, and it's 80 nutrients in that little strip. And then you've got the shake, your daily shake as well. And so um, I'll tell you a little bit about it. That strip, that vitamin strip is called Vitalizer, and it comes in three different formulations for women, men, and then people that are older than 50. Um, the one for women specifically is great as a prenatal, postnatal. And then for those that are older, over 50, that it's great for, you know, anti-aging, CoQ10, things that our bodies need as we get older. And this was created out of 12 clinical stud studies, including that study I just mentioned to you. Um, and it's got uh, multiple supplements in it. And let me just uh, show you in this picture really what they are. So you've got a multivitamin in it that dissolves right in your stomach. Now I talk to nurses a lot and I often hear really interesting stories about how they might be changing a bedpan and find vitamins in a bedpan. Yeah. So you probably already know that all vitamins are not created equally, just like all tennis shoes aren't created equally. If you wanted to run a marathon, you're probably not going to do it in $4 shoes or $10 shoes or whatever. Um, supplements are the same way. They're not all created equally. They do not all do the same. And in fact, unfortunately, it's not really very well re regulated by the FDA. And so it means that a lot of bad companies can get away with a lot of bad stuff. But Shackley has always been committed to having beyond organic products. And not just beyond organic, so that you're not just getting the best of what's in there, but they also have science paired with it to make sure that it is dissolving in the right place of your body at the right time. And so that multivitamin, I love if you even put it in water, you could test it yourself or even something like a vinegar, you could see it dissolves within five minutes when it's in your body um, and it dissolves right in your stomach. Um, whereas this yellow vitamin, that's the B and C complex. And so um, B vitamins are so great for stress. I'll tell you more about those in a minute, but then also C vitamins are great for immunity. Um, but those are things that your body can't absorb um, very, or they only absorb a little bit at a time. And so this one is in your body for 12 hours. It's a slow dissolve so that your body is getting it over the course of 12 hours, which is so cool. Um, and then this Corrado E Omega, it's your fish oil, which you know is so great for your brain, also great for your heart, carotenoids, all these things. Um, that dissolves after it gets through your stomach, so you're not getting the fishy afterburps. Nobody likes those. And then um, last at the very bottom, that little um, pearl, that circle there, that is their probiotic. And I mean, you may have heard a lot about the gut brain connection and how, um, you know, 80% of your immunity is in your gut. Um, but so much of your stress is also has to do with your gut. And so if you can get your gut healthy, so many other things will fall into place. So this is something that everybody in my family gets every day. Um, and what I love about it is Shackley scientists designed it knowing that they wanted to get to the lowest part of your intestine where all those good germs are that need to be, need to be fed. And many other supplements out there that are probiotics, they get in your stomach acid and the harshness of the stomach acid, acid causes them to dissolve and then they never make it to the lowest part of the intestine. And so Shackley put a triple coating on their probiotics. So the first coating dissolves in the stomach acid, second coating of upper, upper intestine. By the time it's in the right place of your body, you're getting exactly what you need. It is so cool. And I think it's a huge, it's a huge factor as to why my kids rarely ever get sick. Um, so this is the strip. This is everything that comes in the strip. But I want you to know all Shackley products have this kind of science behind them as well as beyond organic standards. So, um, you know, eating healthy is not always easy, but you can easily take this strip to make sure your body is getting the nutrients it needs or filling in the gaps of your healthy diet. You absolutely should be eating healthy, but, you know, fill in those gaps with this. 
All right, so here's the shake. Now, if you're like me, you might think, okay, um, the shakes are for people that wanna lose weight or they're for bodybuilders. And um, it turns out that actually nothing, with, no cellular activity happens in our body without protein. And so protein is so, so, so essential for our bodies. And our body will, will function less than stellar on the protein that it has if it doesn't have enough protein. So making sure we get enough protein is so huge. And most of the time our diet does not have enough protein. And so I love having this shake because uh, for one thing, it's an easy meal. <laughs> um, I, my friend Chelsea was just telling me about how you know, she was really trying to have healthy breakfast in the morning. So she's taking time to make eggs and things like that. And then she was running out of time. She got frustrated. So she was just having a bowl of cereal because it's fast and easy. So I love that starting my, my day with this shake, so easy to make, easy to have on the go. Uh, it's so healthy and it fills my, fills me with the protein I need for the whole day. And so just by replacing a meal with a shake, um, for one thing is so great for your digestion because plant-based protein is easier for your body to digest. Um, one thing that's really special about our protein is that it helps boost your metabolism, which I know probably nobody minds even right now with uh, being quarantined. And, um, and it's just, it's so great for your body. In fact, Dr. Shackley, who invented the world's first vitamin, he's the reason why we're here. Uh, he also invented the world's first plant-based protein. And he said, if you take nothing else, if you, I only recommended one product to you, I would recommend the protein because it's that essential for your whole body. So uh, even my boys get it every morning. They still get their bowl of oatmeal, but I make a mini shake for each of them because they, I want to make sure they're getting enough protein in their day. So, um, so that's, that's the prove it challenge. That's a strip in the shake. It's um, the, the perfect like foundation for everything. And so people often ask about price. So I just want you to know um, if you have never tried the prove it challenge before, you can get free products with it right now. You can either get a free cleanse or a free immunity product just ask me or the person who sent you this video for what the best fit for you would be. Um, but if you were to put, you know, this 30 days of meals, 30 days of, um, of protein meals, 30 days of, um, of vitamins, plus your free product and free shipping, if you put it all together, um, it's usually about $250. Right now you can get it for about, for $159 with free shipping. Who doesn't love free shipping? And so, uh, and then it kind of locks in that price for the future as you continue with your strip and shake, you'll find uh, you can, the price is right around that. You wouldn't get the free product with it, of course, but uh, you get, get it at about that price. So if you've never tried it, talk to the person who sent you this video because it's worth a try. Um, Shackley is guaranteeing that in 30 days, if you do the prove it challenge, you're going to feel healthier, you're going to feel more energized, improve your immunity, and just feel more focused. And so I have many people, we, Shackley has all these specialized products. We have specialized products for helping people focus, for helping people have better immunity, for helping people deal with stress. All of those are so good. And I'll tell you about a couple of them in a minute, but I often encourage people to start right here because this does it all. And for many people, they don't need the specialty products when they start with the prove it challenge because um, it, it helps in all of these areas. So I highly encourage you to start here. Um, here's some fun pictures of people with befores and afters. And of course, these are not 30 day before and afters. You'll find that, you know, you're feeling good and you'll want to continue on it, or you can always modify. Some people find that, you know, it's simpler. To, I, I might just want to sit with one shake a day and continue on that habit because, you know, your health is not going to be built in 30 days. It will be changed in 30 days for sure. But you know, health is built by habits that we have throughout our lives. And so you can decide after your 30 days, if you want to continue with both the strip and the shake, or maybe one or the other, or, um, you know, I can help you with a modified plan if you want to do that. But many people who continue on it, you can see the pictures here. Um, and of course, it's not so much about how you look, but it is about how you're feeling on the inside. And so there's a great story here of a mom who was waking up six or seven times a night with her baby. And uh, she said she immediately started to feel better on the Prove It Challenge. And so for many of us that have used it, for years, we have seen the difference it's made on the inside and in our energy and in our cholesterol numbers and just so many things. So it is worth taking that challenge to see if in 30 days um, it changes your health. Um, and I, I, I can guarantee it will, or you get your money back. So, um, but you know, sometimes everybody's body is different. And so we also, also go through seasons of higher stress. And so you might need um, these additional products if you're going through those higher stress times. And so one of those I wanna mention is B complex. Now this also comes in the prove it challenge. So you might have enough B complex in that prove it challenge. But you know, for me, when I was pregnant, my doctor recommended that I take like six more B complex on top of the one I was getting my vitalizer. So um, it's nice to know that you could get this individually. My, even my children take it. I love that it alleviates sugar cravings and it helps me handle my stress. 
But then they also have a specific product called Stress, stress Relief Complex. And this is something that I don't take every day, but I do take it when I need it. And so um, it literally blunts the production of cortisol and, and the effects of cortisol. So all those things that are happening in your brain, it, it blunts that so that you're not feeling the effects quite as much. And so if you're going through a long extended season of stress, it is very helpful because all that stress can lead to other things happening in your body that you don't want to happen. Um, so this is a really great product to have with it. But I, like I said, start with the Prove It Challenge and see what a difference it makes. Or if you're going through a season of extra stress, you might wanna add these products to it. Well, I should mention the Shackley Guarantee because this is true for all of our products. I didn't even mention to you our skincare line or our clean, cleaning or weight loss line. All of, these all of these Shackley products have the money back guarantee. And you can see some big numbers here of uh, how many tests they're doing to make sure that they are quality products that you are getting. And in fact, a lot of our products right now are on back order because it's very much high in demand. People care about their health right now, which they should be. Um, and so Shackley is working around the clock to make sure people are getting their products. But one thing that's really interesting is um, because they have such high standards for the products that they will use, the ingredients that they will use, um, because we've had these back orders, um, people were saying, Shackley, are you going to compromise on the future products that you make because they're in such high demand? You know, are you going to compromise on the ingredients? And Shackley has said, no, they refuse to do it. And, and I just think they could go and make a less than stellar product right now and make a whole lot of money but they've chosen not to do it because Shackley values their name and their commitment to beyond organic, safe and healthy products. And they've been that way since 1956. So I'm very proud to be a part of this company. And, uh, and, and you should know that these products do have a business attached to them. And so if you find that they're making a difference for you, you can casually share them like many people do, just share them with a mom or a sister, host an event, um, or a lot of people do it as a side business or a full-time business like it's become for me. So um, what I love about it is that it is mobile. It is designed with you in mind. So you can do it from home right now, or you can do it in the car as your kids are at soccer practice. So um, I love that I can do it from anywhere and I would help you do it. So I have many people that just, um, that do it casually, but they refer people my way or, or the way of the person who uh, invited you to watch this video. And for those of us that do it full time, we're happy to help you care for other people and help you pay for your products that way or have a little bit of extra spending money. There's a lot of people that casually make like two to $500 a month without it taking up too much of their time because we have products that people use every day. Um, unlike many other companies that maybe have a really cute bag or really cute jewelry, people buy that once and never buy it again. But we have products that people love and continue to use. And so we take care of our people, take really good care of them and uh, people continue to buy and it becomes a residual income um, and even a passive income. So one thing I should mention with the Prove It Challenge, if you refer other people to the Prove It Challenge, it could be as simple as posting on social media and saying, hey, I'm gonna do a Prove It Challenge, who wants to join me? Um, if one, one person joins you, you get a $25 referral bonus, which is really cool. But if three people join you in the same month, Shackley takes the $75 you would have earned and they double it and you actually get $150 back. And so many people have done this just as a way to um, cover the cost of their Prove It Challenge. So that's something that you can think about as well. And that is one of the five ways that we are paid in Shackley. Um, so I should just mention that, I mean, there's real money in this. Um, and so people at the lowest rank are making about $500 a month. I want you to know that I'm somewhere in the middle and it's more than replaced my income. So I'm very grateful for this business opportunity because I love that I get to help people, but I also get to help people use the gifts and talents that they have to help other people. I love to help people help other people. It's just such a gift. So, um, so I love that I got to uh, present this information to you and I hope that it gave you some some tactics of mental things that you can do, strategies you can use, as well as physical strategies you can use to, to deal with stress. So this last quote I want to um, leave you with is just a reminder that you can't control what's happening. There's so much that is out of our control, but you can control the way that you respond to it. Um, and so that is where your true power is in changing your mindset, choosing to change your mindset, choosing to change what you're putting in your body as a way to change uh, how you're responding to the things that you can't control. So um, I hope that this is encouraging for you. Please do reach out to me with questions. I am here to help you and I would love to help you. So thanks again for listening and I'm gonna hang up now. <laughs> All right, bye.